third in saves, fourth in games played, and 12th in shutouts. His last game was a victory at Ottawa on Tuesday, 3-2, to two, and we are underway in St. Paul. First of four straight road games, and snaps it right to the tape of Neil Pion. The Hermantown boys send it down right to the net. It'll come back to the boards, and a chance for Minnesota to clear. But right onto the stick of Shifley. Wild changes. Morris, he centered it. That's a good save by Fleury as a net drive from Velarde. Cross ice feed picked off by Marco Rossi, the 20 gold man as a rookie. Here comes Zuccarello. Centering pass right in and a stop off Rossi by Hellebach. Second round pick four years ago. That pass passed by a follow. One shot apiece here in the opening two and a half. Now, yeah, rare who's Nadinov. You mentioned number 22 for the Wild. Split his time between Sochi and St. Petersburg. And Nemesnikov scores! Vlad Nemesnikov right in front of the goal. And the Jets off a turnover. Lead it 1 nothing. For these, they played the game in the offensive zone for the most part, and they get their first shift of this game. And look at that. Right onto the court check. Moran Barron uses his speed, uses his legs to stop the puck. And look how quickly there is support all around him. You can see I follow making sure he seals the wall, anticipates, and then boom, a quick outlet pass to the inner slot to Nemesta. And it'll trickle to the corner. Shockley made a back pass. Ehlers gets to the boards. Up ahead is Appleton. But now Ehlers kicking it into gear, and here he comes. Nikolai Ehlers finds an opening, and he's drawing. Knocked away by Fleury. Boy, you don't want to turn away when Nikolai Ehlers grabs the puck in his own zone. He almost scored another beauty. As Kaprizov, who's been known to do the same, finding Jonas Brodin with a shot, kicks in Hellebuck. The Jets looking to get it back with Velarde. Good balance. Nice move. Sends it Rick wide. Get it into again. Nikolai Ehlers stops. His pass goes off a stick. Pretty open style of play here in the opening four minutes. As Kaprizov comes back again for Minnesota. Ducks under the bump of Pionk. Sharp angle shot. It may have caught Hellebuck on the mud. Mask. Off the stick of Cole Perfetti at center. He's got four points in his last two games. Merrill scrambling over the line. Had a jarred free from him. Perfetti can't clear a long shot. Fought away easily by Hellebuck. Cross ice pass. Rossi will bring it in. Nice work by Connor to keep it away from Zuccarello, who now throws it to the slot. Score! What a play by Caprizzo. And you got Matt Zuccarello with the vision and the playmaking ability. Look at the stick there. He's got a long stick, so he just gets it on there, jars out of left to allow Marco Rossi to disrupt, and then a quick pass to the middle of the ice from Zuccarello. And look at the spin, no look backhand. Imagine how hard that is for Hellebuck to try to track. Appleton trying to get it back. Eric Sinek on it. Faber jumps up on the right side, takes the pass. Buck Faber, that goes to the net. Goldie put it through the blue paint. To his left. He originally was given an assist on the wild goal, but it's been taken away. And so served that, tried to get it deep, got it back, shot stopped by Halbach. Rossi, the wild Bill Masterton nominee, Lauren Bressois for Winnipeg. Two on one, Sean Monahan, he's got Connor with him. Monahan, and Connor scores! Perfect setup, and Kyle Connor has given the Jets back their one goal lead. A little more comfort food there for Craig Button. Great, great poise. Simple little play, though. You chip it up the wall. Perfetti ties his man up. So then there's support from Monaghan, who arrives on time. He just seems to be at the right place at the right time all the time. And look at the way he holds, holds, and right on cue. He sauces one in tight onto the forehand of Kyle Connor, who gets his first goal. Michigan Tech standout. And Ottawa Senator. Samper with skating room. Somebody told him so. Skate, they said. And he did. Made the pass. Long shot. Fought off by Fleury. DeMello patiently with it in this quick moving first period of play. Angled in there by Gabriel Bellardi. Sharply played it quickly. Right to Nikolai Ehlers. Back to the point. Shot by Pionk. Right on goal in the one timer. Bellardi. Shifley slings it back. Morrissey, time for Peon. Fires and a blocker save by Flurry. That hops all the way to the far dot. Middleton placed it behind the goal. Settled on by Faber. Bouncing puck. Penalty coming up. The Jets will be shorthanded. The whistle a little late to come. And uh, on that goal, they've added an assist.
to Dylan DeMello. So he picks up another point, up to 29 points on the season, and that's a career high every, gets a point, every time he gets a point. Eric Sinek almost had a goal there on the power play. Zuccarello, the wild man to the good. Zuccarello with an assist so far. Will steer it back to Faber. Penalty kill is in a sore spot for the Jets. Boldy to Faber. Now Kaprizov. That's swatted toward the goal. Knocked away by the stick and Hellebuck. Grabbed again by Boldy. Zuccarello trying to give it back to Matt Boldy. He'll punch that around the boards. The Jets are one for two against the Flames on Thursday in the kill. 63.7% of the last nine games. And they score! And it's Kaprizov again! I thought there was a couple of different times where the puck could have stopped and possibly been clear, and it's good position relatively, and, but you have to make sure that you close leans down. How about that one? One middle seam broken and one goal on the power play because of it. The vision and the ability to make plays from Zuccarello and right into the one time. Nice job to the Jets to make sure they clear it. Kaprizov comes in, fires it, but he gave it away, and it's Adam Lowry. A short-handed breakaway, stopped by Flurry! Rossi takes it, lots of time for him. Chisholm is at the blue line. And he gets it from Marco Rossi. Declan Chisholm. Backing up. Rossi with a little time. Snapshot. Stopped by Hollebuck. Bouncing puck. Clearing attempt. No good there from Stanley. Stick on puck. Body on body. Brendan Dillon does both. Makes it difficult for Minnesota to continue to play. So the Wild got the one shot on their second power play. The one for two today. Shaw threw it right on goal. And it'll bounce to the Nesnikov. On their stick and clear. That takes care of at least 30 seconds of puck possession time. Chase off win. Chudley, there's a shot. Chudley was terrific at the dock Thursday against the Calgary Flames. And uh, if you don't and you have unforced errors, you guys like that can capitalize and feast on them. So this Jets team looking for the season sweep against Minnesota as it's driven into the zone in favor of awaits Middleton. Snapped it around. Johansson clears. Matt Boldy at center. Jabbed away by Dillon, but they get it back. Boldy with his head up. Cruising. Shot. Stick save. Hellebuck. Boldy again. Spun off balance. Big finish there by Lowry. You got physical on the youngster. Boldy. High slot pass. Johansson lost it. Jets are on the move. Taking that feed. Tyler to Foley. Sent it through to the goal. Of course, to Foley in Niederreiter's spot. Niederreiter out of the lineup. Appleton back at the blue line being tied up in the play. Being careful. Shagley gets off. In behind the goal is Gabriel Velarde. Looking to step out. He'll leave it. Domestikov falls. Gets up. Velarde goes to the bench. Continue pressure from Winnipeg. Vlad Domestikov. He's it up. No, the shot. The score. Brendan Dillon with a bomb. And it's 3-2. Winnipeg. <laughs> what a great sequence of events. Listen, go all the way back. The puck into the offensive zone, just turns, rips, and fires it at the net. And since then, the Jets did not surrender the puck. And look at the way that they're reading off of each other. A nice give and go in high ice. Nemestikov follows his pass. And then he tees up the one-timer for Brendan Dillon, who extends his career high now to nine goals. He's one shy of... So the old UMB Bulldog, Alex Iafala, with the go-ahead goal, is 11th of the season. And the third period is underway here at Cell Energy Center. About the eight defensemen, Stanley being one of them, about four guys trying for two spots every night. Turning his eye, follow, he said they've been reluctantly accepting of the rotation. Their attitude's been good, but they want to be in. That shot, score! Sandberg, it's tipped in front, it looks like Barron's goal. And that's some insurance, it's 4-2. And I think Rick Bonus will be reluctant to take Logan Stanley out of the game after his performance. This is an excellent job. Once again, from the fourth line, the cutbacks, the hold, the patience. Look at the cycle. The Jets had four chances off the cycle in the first period to the none for the Wild. Look at the shot to the net, the traffic, and an excellent job for Morgan Barron to be there, to not interfere with Fleury, and he gets a... 2.7 seconds away from their third straight win. Again, you see Barron taking the face off as a righty. He wins it, and the Jets hang on to win 4-2. Three straight victories and 100 points even on the season.